Okay, so the next part of the hair health check is comparing what we found in the hair cycle, which we have a picture of Colette's hair cycle here, so we know there's a couple of hairs not growing properly. And then we want to compare it to what happens with pattern thinning. So pattern thinning is female pattern thinning and male pattern thinning. Now Colette has said to me that her hairline has changed. Again, even though we have an amazing head of hair, you know personally if something has changed. And it's a good idea if something's changing with your hair to check it out because it is telling you about your health. So Colette could afford to lose some of her beautiful hair, but it's still she's being responsible and checking something out. So we took this picture here of the terminal area, so we have something to compare to. So the next thing is we want to move into the sides. So in the sides, the hair naturally is less hairs per centimetre and the hairs get a little bit thinner. So you just want to check that compared to the terminal area. So we're going in here. So generally there's less hair per centimetre and the hairs are thinner but you should have less damage. Whereas in here, I can see really close up on the lean over here, mm -hmm. there's little hairs that are not growing properly and the majority of the hairs do not have the colour or strength as they should. Now we've only just moved from the terminal area into the sides. So typically female pattern thinning and male pattern thinning is through the top. But with my microscope I'm finding in a lot of men and women, it's happening down to the sides here as well. And you can clearly see that that has changed. So we go in and we take another picture, just moving up a little bit higher. And pretty much it's definitely different to what we were seeing at the back. And this isn't where Colette was concerned about her hair, she was concerned more about the hairline. So we'll just go in and look at the hairline. So she's still got really thick hair. <laughs> and it's funny that this pattern thinning, it affects so many of us. It used to be just hereditary, but now it's hereditary, hormonal and environmental. It's just about all of us are exposed in some way. So in here, again, you can see just about every hair is thinner than what it should be. And we've got these little bellus hairs growing as well. So seeing that picture, I can also see um, your oil glands. See before I was saying mm -hmm. about how yellow it can yeah. get? So these ones, because the hair has shrunk, the oil gland remains the same size. Mm -hmm. So do you find it's extra oily around the hairline? Definitely. And a lot of people find that. They say it's really oily at the front. Mm -hmm. And that is a sign that you have the female pattern thinning. Male pattern thinning is the same. So when you've got the oil problem, a lot of people say that it gets itchy. So the oil has a pH and sitting left on the scalp can give you itch. So they're saying that all these different symptoms, but sometimes they're all simply connected together. It's important to get a diagnosis and then understand what pattern thinning is because it does connect to the hair cycle. But some people have a hair cycle problem which has made the pattern thinning go a lot faster. With Colette, her hair cycle is not too bad, it's okay. Yeah. So I'd say it was more the chemicals that damaged the back of the hair, but what you said about the front area is spot on. So once we can clearly see what's going on, we can then go in and offer an explanation. So it's the education that's very important, and then we can give you some treatment options. So again, we'll have a break and we'll come back and we'll um, explain some of the treatment options that we have for you.